This is Chapter 25, Module 1, Intro to Metabolism. The learning objectives of this module are 1. Define metabolism and 2. Distinguish between catabolic and anabolic pathways. Cells are little factories that break down organic molecules like glucose to obtain energy, which can then be used to create ATP. The reactions in the mitochondria provide most of the energy needed by the typical cell. Oxygen and nutrients are both required to carry out these reactions. Oxygen is absorbed in the lungs and the nutrients are absorbed in the digestive tract. Oxygen and nutrients are carried through the bloodstream and into the tissues where the cells will then absorb them and use them in these reactions. The term metabolism refers to all the chemical reactions that occur in an organism. Chemical reactions within cells are called cellular metabolism. Cellular metabolism provides the energy needed to maintain homeostasis. In cellular metabolism, the cell absorbs organic molecules from the surrounding interstitial fluids. These organic molecules are amino acids, lipids, and simple sugars. They cross the cell membrane and join nutrients already in the cytoplasm. Together, these form a nutrient pool that the cell can use to provide energy and to create new intracellular components. Catabolism is the process of breaking down these organic substances. This process releases energy that can be used to synthesize ATP. In general, the first steps occur in the cytoplasm, where larger organic molecules like glycogen are broken down into smaller organic molecules like glucose. These smaller organic molecules can then join the nutrient pool. Basically, carbohydrates break down into simple sugars or monosaccharides. Triglycerides or fats are broken down into fatty acids and glycerol and proteins are broken down into amino acids. These smaller organic molecules can continue to be broken down in the process of catabolism and then be absorbed by the mitochondria. In the mitochondria, enzymes will continue to break these organic molecules down and this activity will produce significant amounts of energy. 40% of this energy will be used to convert ADP to ATP and the other 60% escapes as heat that warms the interior of the cell and the surrounding tissues. The ATP that is produced by the mitochondria will be used to synthesize new organic molecules. This is called anabolism. It will also be used in other cell functions such as ciliary or cell movement, contraction, active transport, and cell division. Cell functions vary from cell to cell. Muscle cells will use more energy for contraction, whereas gland cells will need ATP to synthesize and transport their secretions. Anabolism, or the synthesis of new molecules, will be required for four basic reasons. Number one, to perform structural maintenance or repairs. All cells must expend energy to maintain and repair themselves. The structures in the cells must be removed and replaced regularly. Number two, to support growth. Cells grow in size as they are preparing to divide. They also synthesize extra proteins and organelles as they prepare to divide. Number three, to produce secretions. Secretory cells synthesize their secretions and then deliver them to the interstitial fluid. Number four, to store nutrient reserves. Most cells store nutrients that can be used in a period of emergency or at a time when the supply of nutrients in the bloodstream is inadequate. Glucose can be stored as glycogen, which is a branched chain of glucose molecules. Fatty acids are stored as triglycerides in the adipocytes and liver cells. These lipids are the most abundant storage of energy reserves. Proteins are the most abundant organic components of the body and they perform a variety of vital functions for the cell. Proteins are synthesized whenever energy is available. However, when glucose or fatty acids are unavailable, proteins will be broken down into amino acids and the amino acids will be catabolized to create energy. So the primary function of proteins is not as an energy source, but they can be used to create energy as a last ditch effort if fats and sugars are not available. The nutrient pool is the source of substrates for both anabolism and catabolism. The anabolic activities such as creating new membrane components, new organelles, and new enzymes require more amino acids than lipids, and it requires very few carbohydrates. With catabolism, if nutrients are readily available, carbohydrates are broken down first, then lipids, and amino acids are seldom broken down if other energy sources are available. The mitochondria create most of the ATP for the cell. 
The mitochondria will absorb specific molecules from the breakdown of carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins, and will break these fragments further to generate carbon dioxide, water, and ATP. This activity in the mitochondria involves two pathways, the TCA cycle and the electron transport system, which will be described in a different segment. This ends this is chapter, chapter 25, 25 module, module 1, one intro, to, intro metabolism. to Metabolism.